Hello, this is Andrew Dugill with Hoffman Realty Tampa Property Management and today we're going to talk about where to buy an investment property in Florida, Tampa Bay. And this is part one of a two-part blog and in part one we're going to discuss where to buy investment property and in part two we're going to discuss where not to buy investment property. Now Hoffman Realty, we've been property managers and landlords in the Tampa Bay area for almost 30 years. So we've certainly got a lot of experience in this area and we recommend three areas to purchase investment property in the Tampa Bay area. The first one is single family construction on the outskirts of the urban core. Now these are areas like New Tampa, Wesley Chapel, Lander Lakes, Lutz, Riverview, Valrico, Sefna. And the reason we recommend that is that in the last 10 to 15 years, there's been a lot of new construction in those areas. And the new construction homes that built to the latest codes, they have modern systems like electric and plumbing. They have contemporary floor plans, which make them attractive to renters. They all have garages, which is another attractive thing to a renter and they're often built in communities where they have clubhouses and pools and perhaps playgrounds for children again these are also things that make them very attractive now the second area that we recommend purchasing investment property in Florida is single family development within the urban core now these tend to be more mature areas and we're talking about here Tampa um, Clearwater, St. Pete, Brandon, Palm Harbor. Now when you purchase single family homes in these areas, you've got to be more careful. You've got to make sure that the major systems in the house, the electric, the plumbing, the roof are all in good condition. If the house was built prior to 1978, it may have lead-based paint and that's something you want to be very aware of with renters. Oftentimes the older homes, they were built below the, the flood elevation and if you've got a property that's got below the flood elevation that can be very expensive to insure and that will steal your cash flow so you want to avoid those and then finally you want to make sure you can get insurance for the property older homes in Florida are harder to insure and you're going to make sure you can get insurance the third area we recommend is purchasing units within associations such as condominium complexes and the first two choices we talk about single family homes and these are much less restrictive. If you're purchasing in associations you've got to be really careful. Uh, they are a lot more restrictive than single family. So the first thing you want to be aware of purchasing in an association is is the association solvent? And many aren't these days. Can the association purchase insurance? It's getting harder and harder to get insurance in Florida. Are there any upcoming special assessments? Special assessments are huge cash flow robbed, robbers for landlords. And then, is the community pro-rental? A surprisingly large number of associations are very restrictive on rentals, and that can really rob your cash flow. So these are three areas where we recommend purchasing investment property in Florida in the Tampa Bay area. Hopefully this, you find this helpful. If you've got questions about our blog today, we'd certainly be happy to hear from you.